Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let me introduce to you the Calfen F80, the high performance electric dirt bike. So this bike is to perform on and off road. It's got an 8,000 watt motor and the battery is a 72 volt, 48 amp and produces 260 newton meters of torque. So it's got a weight of 85 kilos, it's got a seat height of 840 mil, and it's got a range of about 75 miles. So this on-road version has a 19 inch front wheel and an 18 inch rear. Right guys, so there's only one thing left to do. So sit back, relax, and come along for the ride. I was just having a look at these chunky pegs on here as well, they look really robust. Uh, it's also got adjustable suspension front and rear on this bike. So uh, let's get on and give it a ride. So you've got three modes on this bike, uh, operated by this button, the E and the S, and I think that's probably economy sport. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but um, it's kind of got a one, two, and three. Uh, D is for drive, so you can take that out. As soon as you press that button, it's in drive. That bike is now live. Um, so yeah, we'll just go give it a ride down some of these lanes and see how this bike performs. Like I say, this is a road registered version, so you can actually ride this bike on a CBT. Um, very fast responsive throttle there like with all electric bikes lots of torque 260 newton meters of torque in this bike uh, and that's why I like riding these things so yeah we've uh, like we said we've got fully adjustable suspension let's go down this uh, green lane and give it a bit of a an off-road test so I'll get on the pegs <laughs> God, I mean these bikes are so quick up when you hit that throttle you've only got to touch it so it's a very gravelly, very kind of bumpy kind of bit of a green lane. Whoa! Whoa. Um, they do do a full off-road version of this, but it's not a road registered one. So I think this is a really good compromise of like getting to these lanes if you want to do it. Uh, this is a real multi-purpose bike. Oh, we've got some big puddles here. I'm not sure how the tyres will handle up, but they've got a pretty good bit of tread on there. Yeah, I mean, things like the batteries, fully waterproof as you'd expect. Oh yeah, we're getting some slippy slidings going off here. <laughs> wow, look at that, straight up to 40 mile an hour. It's just like a quick twist of the throttle, just instant power. <laughs> we even got a little bit of air then. This bike's been tested at the ABR festival and you're getting kind of 75 miles off road with it. These batteries perform better when they're actually kind of not on continuously long high power that's when the battery gets eaten up so when you're doing stuff like this you get a lot of regeneration that goes back into the battery and actually the suspension's working pretty good they're just so so light i think the good thing is you can literally like turn them so easy <laughs> bit of wheel spin so these are the kind of tires that we've got on the bike uh, these are the kenders again very good dual purpose tire <laughs> So the suspension works really well and the brakes are really good too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's give it the water test. Yeah, no problems there. Got a little bit wet. Yeah, this bike doesn't struggle going through the water at all. I'm quite surprised how much traction I'm getting with these tyres as well. I'll tell you what, one thing I do like about these bikes is, do you know when you come to a stop, it's just almost silent, apart from these lambs. But that's the thing, you don't annoy anybody. I've said this before, um, when I've rode other electric powered bikes, if you're doing the green laning, such as this, you're not annoying anybody. You're not annoying the dog walker. So these bikes do come in the lightweight dirt bike category, but if you look at the suspension on the front, you've got 200 mil of travel there. Also got 265 mil of ground clearance. So it makes bikes like this really usable on this sort of terrain. So, I mean, the cameras never do these things justice, but this actually looks quite steep up here. Um, again, it's just rocky sort of terrain, but the power of this motor and the battery, it really does just want to... It 
sort of power up, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant. I mean, the instant torque with these, I was, so I was kind of a bit worried about not having the clutch and having that kind of full control over the bike, but I'll be honest, I've not sort of had a final problem. Maybe if you started kind of jumping over logs or something like that, I, I don't know, but... Um, at the minute, so far, this bike's worked really, really well. These have, have got so much better. Uh, the performance is absolutely brilliant. I'm not actually sure I'd want to go much quicker than 56 down these lanes. I'm kind of averaging 26 at the minute. We'll take it up to like, I mean, that's 40 mile an hour. Oh <laughs> yeah, you're all right. It is. <laughs> Did you hear me coming? No. <laughs> this material is supposed to be aircraft grade one one piece sort of frame. The batteries are not interchangeable, they are fixed. Whereas I think on the Servoins you can swap the batteries out on them. Yeah, you might be able to carry another one, yeah. Um, but whether you'd want to carry another one, it actually, the, the, I think the selling point on this one really, I, I don't know what the Servoins are like, but two and a half hours that's fully charged as well from zero. Yeah, it's fast. I mean, that's, I, I think that's what's kind of getting more appealing to people now. Longer range, quicker charging times, and that, that instant torque is like... Yeah, I know. I'm it, very, um, yeah, it, 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 it's brilliant. I mean, it'll do 56 flat out, but no, it's great fun. <laughs> I'll have a look at it. Yeah, check it out. Nice to meet you. See you later. Have a good day. All right, so yeah, really nice talking to them people about there, because it's nice to get an opinion. Whoa, nice jump. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, guys, this is absolutely brilliant fun. So tonight I'm going over to a bike night. I'm going to go try this bike out on the road. I'm going over my buddy. He's going to be on his Rocket 3R. So what I need to do is just go test this bike on the road now. Um, like I say, top speed supposed to be around the sort of 56 mile an hour mark. Um, I mean, we've just done a, you know, a few mile of trails there and we've still got 86% of charge left. So that is absolutely fantastic. One thing I did find was a little bit of a fault, I think, is when the side stand is down, it's still active in drive. And I think maybe that should be in disengaged because if you was to accidentally just pull that throttle, that bike would move. And like I said, 260 newton meters of torque, it's going to fly. And um, I'm not so sure because you do get people, you know, that just like to have a little sort of twist of a throttle. And if I was to do that now on the side stand, that bike would project down this lane. So, um, yeah, I do think you've got to be a little bit, a uh, little bit careful with that. And just ironically, being called Cowfen, we have an audience like this. The cows show interest in the Cowfen. Yeah, we we have no problem wheeling this thing. Okay guys, so one of the other tests I wanted to do with this bike is take it down this little strip of road here. Uh, we can't do a 0 to 60 on this, so what I'm going to do is a 0 to 30. Uh, I've got the race box device here with the GPS. So here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Let's give it the full beans. We'll see what speed we can get up to. That was the 54. We got it up to 54. It's pretty quick up to 54. There's certainly no lag with these electric bikes. It's kind of instant torque. Let's give it the brake test. Oh yeah, and the brakes again work really, really well. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. The back wheel does tend to lock up when you get on that back brake. at 2.97 seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, not to 30. There's no lag, uh, instant torque, got plenty of traction with this. So uh, we'll give it one more go and uh, see if we can beat that. Right, here we go, another run. Three, two, one, go. Let's check that. Let's check it, see where we're at. So yeah, that one was three seconds. So one of the other things I wanted to do whilst I've got this bike in my possession is go take it to a local bike night. So I'm also out with my buddy who's in front of me now on the Rocket 3R, two and a half litre engine on the Rocket 3. I've already made the schoolboy error of not putting enough charge in it. I'm down to 53% and um, we've still got quite a way to go. So uh, 
Um, at low speeds it's pretty good, at high speeds it will deplete the battery a bit quicker. Is in uh, we are here. <laughs> Let's see if they accept this bike into their clan. But there's a few guys looking. <laughs> He's having a little look over already. I don't think they've quite seen one of these before. And uh, it's certainly getting a little bit of interest since I've pulled up. This is a guy here taking photos of it. So I think everybody's a little bit shocked how quick this bike does pick up. As I was leaving the pub back there, it kind of got on the full throttle and it's soon up to 54 miles an hour. Right, so I'm going to race the Rocket 3 off of the lights. And uh, this will be a first time. Oh, well, I reckon I won that for the first 10 metres. <laughs> but the rocket powers on. So for me, it's always about having two wheels and putting a smile on your face. And to me, this bike is fun. So uh, on that note, I hope you liked the video, guys. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like and I'll see you in the next one.